Greetings YouTube VAC fans. This is Bill here from VAC Lab and today I'm doing airflow loss testing on a DC-14 animal. You can see in the background, special mention, I've got a DC-25 and a DC-65 animal complete. So the question is, is what kind of airflow loss do you get from Dysons? We've already done canisters in a previous video so I'm wondering what's lost through this wonderful piece of technology James Dyson has based his whole company on. Is there a whole lot of loss or is it very little? This one is easy to measure, that is the 14 with the Baird meter, because I can fit this in there quickly and show you what's going on, although I can measure the other ones with my anemometer. And I can also take this piece off here and measure the side port. Uh, after the cyclone, so it's pretty easy to do that. So let's see, we've got this big powerful motor down here creating a bunch of airflow. Let's see what it measures. Sorry for the jerkiness. This is a little hard to do one-handed. So a 9 on a Baird meter corresponds to 108 CFM. That's actually pretty good. So this motor is definitely doing its job, even though it has to go through piping and there's a nice little rubber seal right there. Let's now put in the cyclonic bin and see what happens. I can pop this off right here. And I can go and pop off the Baird adapter and see what we can get. And this one's going to be equally awkward to measure, so sorry for the jerkiness. All right, so after the cyclones, we have a Baird 5. We got a Baird 5 reading here, and a 5 is 85 CFM. So the cyclones suck down about 23 CFM. It's not actually as much as I thought it was going to be, but uh, it's still well over 20. So just to go and have something separate the dirt from the air, and you're losing about 23 CFM. Now, what I also know from my airflow box is. This right here, when I measure it with filters installed, I get 59 CFM at the nozzle. So that represents a total of 49 CFM loss, which is almost half of the starting airflow. So this little motor down here is just trying its little guts out to move air, but because of seals, piping, you got whatever nifty little things going on in here, and the cyclones, you're all the way down to almost half. So half of the airflow is basically thrown away. So that seems to me like a fairly inefficient system. Uses a lot of power, and remember in a previous video, these don't deep clean. So you say, well, this is DC-14. That's old technology. It is from 2004, after all. But this one right here does 59 at the nozzle. This one right here, DC-25, does 57 CFM at the nozzle. And this one here, the DC-65, the 2015, does 52 CFM at the nozzle. So is that an improvement over the years? I don't think so. Maybe the cyclonic efficiency and the dirt separation has gotten better. Maybe the maneuverability has gotten better. But the deep down cleaning ability has actually gotten worse. So what do you think? Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.